Hello, St. Philip family. Well, we got one day under our belts and it went pretty well overall. Um, I wanna first thank you all for all of your patience and your support as we kicked off our 2021-2022 school year. The children were really excited, most of them, and so were we. We celebrated a wonderful mass this morning and Father Lewis greeted all of the classes today, going door to door and welcoming everyone to the new school year. He's also gonna be visiting the classes this week to bless each class and offer prayers for a successful year. We also had two of our teachers join us via Zoom from Peru and Colombia. Ms. Vera, who is going to be teaching second grade, is joining us from Peru. She will be here at the end of the week. And Ms. Castillo, who is the middle school math and religion teacher, and she's also the seventh grade homeroom teacher, she will be hopefully joining us next week. We also had a good number of parent volunteers who were so valuable to us today. We wanna to thank everyone who came and helped us out. We really can't thank you enough. Your service was invaluable. But after going through the first day drop-off experience, it quickly became clear that we need more parent volunteers for both drop-off committee and pickup committee. We're looking for about 10 volunteers for each committee, just to make sure that we have um, enough coverage. And we're looking for people who can volunteer daily um, or at least regularly at some point to continue throughout the year. Because as you know, as long as we are in this pandemic, we need to have certain procedures in place and it makes the drop off the entire drop-off procedure just a little bit longer. So it's important that we have some additional help so that we can get through it faster. Um, there's a link that is coming out. All of this information that I'm talking to you about right now is in an email that you should be receiving um, very soon. And uh, there is a link where you can sign up specifically for the, um, the committees for drop-off and pick-up. Um, also, it's, a, it's really important that you document your service hours. Um, there are, is another link coming out, again, in the same email where you can um, uh, sign in electronically to document your service hours. So if you volunteered for the picnic or um, today, first day of school, if you were a substitute teacher today, please document your hours in that Google form. You can also access it um, at the bottom of that same email, um, there's a button that's for specifically for service hour submission. So make sure you get that going as well. And we really need office volunteers. So what happens is Ms. Cardenas, as wonderful as she is, is only one person and if she has to leave the office to tend to something going on in another part of the school, there's no one to man the phones because we're all doing three and four things at a time anyway. So if it would, if you can volunteer to help us out by answering phones in the front office, that would be most appreciated. There's also a link in the email that I'm sending out where you can do that as well. So, some adjustments that we've made. We have a new drop-off procedure, um, which will hopefully help sort of ease some of the traffic on off-road. I know some, several of you were backed up in traffic onto off-road and around the circle, and we want to eliminate that altogether. So we're gonna ask that when you come into the parking lot, you do not take that immediate left turn and pull up in front of the school. Instead, we'd like you to keep driving straight and follow the perimeter of the parking lot. Stay to the outer side of the parking lot, around to the, um, in front of the rectory and to the side of the church, and then pull around to the, sub, to the front of the school. Because that, what we'll do then is we'll have temperature checkers on the side of the church, as well as in front of the school, which will double the amount of, of cars that we can get to. And then we will have our safety patrol uh, middle school students help your scholars get out of the car and get safely into the school. 
We're hoping that this is going to allow us to get more cars into the parking lot and off the street. And it's an, it, the, the change in the pattern will allow us to get more temperature checks done at one time. Again, also please make sure the backpacks are in the back seat and not in the trunk. If you have to get out of your car to get the backpacks out of the trunk, it just causes um, more backup to, because it just takes that much more time. Also, lower your windows so that we can get your temperature check done really quickly. Okay, so pickup also took a little longer than necessary today, and um, there are a few things that we have to reiterate. Safety, safety, safety first. Please do not move through the parking lot when cars are moving. Do not walk over to the church to retrieve your student. You should be standing in front of, up to the side of your car or in front of the entire line of cars. If when we are ready to move, your student has not come out yet, please get back in your car and exit with the flow of traffic and just drive back around and re-enter the parking lot. That way the traffic doesn't get backed up, nobody moves, nobody's trying to get to their car or, uh, while other cars are moving and everybody is kept safe. And that's it for changing the procedures now. We, we really thank you so much for helping us with this part because it's super important that we keep everybody in our community safe. Okay, a couple more things. Um, extended care doesn't begin until after Labor Day. And remember this Friday is also a half day and there's no extended care this Friday. Um, and also we have a new um, kindergarten teacher and we are still vetting teachers for the pre-K. So we are going to set up a second um, meet and greet sort of for the kindergarten and pre-K three students very soon and I will definitely let you know um, sometime next week when that will be, okay? I hope to see you all again tomorrow. I'm really excited that we got this new school year off to a good start and we ask for your grace, for your patience. We so appreciate your support and the trust you put in us and entrusting your children to our care. And um, oh, I also wanted to let you know uh, that today's word of the week, I usually give a word of the week to the children. To this week's word is resilience. Resilience is a word I love because it means to bounce back even in the face of extreme hardship or adversity. People and places like ours that are resilient can come back better than ever. That's who we are and we are back. So welcome back, St. Philip Bulldogs. I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.